Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon where I continue my Japan playthrough uh, taking a look at our active missions. We've got a Jupiter flyby being constructed. We've got a spacewalk with an MMU and that is being constructed, the vehicle is. And then we've got a lunar roving mission, the payload is being constructed for that. So we've got some time to wait until everything is built. Uh, we have, of course, landed crew on the moon. That is important. And we are continuing to work on Mars readiness. So that is our situation. This is the tree. We're currently researching Vesta, which is a lander for Mars that will hopefully increase our Mars expertise. And uh, we probably should build more things, uh, but uh, we're, that's what we're, we are researching right now. And we've got the moo stages here, so we probably need to get two more stages. Eventually, I've already determined we have to get SLS Block 2 to do the Mars mission. And that is what we're looking at now that we have, in fact, landed on the moon. So, okay. It's possible that I need to get some building to speed things up, or... Because all these missions take a long time to build, we might lose ground. It's a little bit hard to predict once missions get to be really long to build, whether somebody else might scoop us or not. Okay, selecting a vehicle. Well, there is only one vehicle for this sort of thing. It's not the vehicle that it ought to be, but it's the vehicle that we've got. It's the Saturn 4B on a Saturn, uh, not a Saturn 5, Saturn 1B rocket. Yep, that's our Bakemono. <laughs> okay, if you say so. All right, uh, 12 month build time. Uh, we barely have enough money to build this. But we do have money, so go for it. So, lunar roving mission being built. It's got to take a whole year, though. Jupiter flyby. Looking good. Payload reliability is increased, but launch reliability was decreased. Now it's only 55%. That's not great. We'll definitely have to... Well, we'll definitely have to go with launch reliability on the training so that we get more of that. And, um, we'll take a risk and wait till January. Oh, uh, no, I won't. <laughs> I hate doing that. Uh, so, yeah, we might not get a whole lot of bonus launch reliability, but... I'm afraid of bad weather and all. Okay, so we could launch next month, we will see. ESA did the third crewed moon landing, jeez. Uh, yeah, the Soviet Union, ESA. Well, that's one that China did not do. Okay, let's see what kind of weather we've got. I'm looking for very good weather that gives us a boost, otherwise we might want to wait. Adequate con conditions, 1%. I'll take a risk and reschedule to next month. But we've got funding review. And we have no boost. Because I guess nothing happened. Okay. Optimal date. Um, good conditions. Okay, well, let's go with it. 67% launch reliability instead of 55% altogether. Alright, it's going up. I wonder if they even have an exploding on the pad situation. Oh, it's got a nice curve to it. Don't always see that. Wow, it's still negative. Battery damage, minus one power for the duration of the mission. Okay, enter Jupiter transfer orbit. Sounds like a good idea. We need 8 thrust minimum, 6 nav, and 4 comms in the fungible resources data. I want to get the nav first, that makes sense, right? And some comms. Ephemeral. Thrust will be reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. Signal attenuation did not work out. Um. Reduced by two signal? Nah, we'll pay one more power. So, always reduce to zero. So we have to get this calculated thruster burn. That's the only way we get thrust, and we'll have to get it right at the end. 
So we need to get the data points for that, no matter what. So let's get some data points. We'll need at least two of these. Uh, ultraviolet imaging is not good. We'll resist. Mission control monitoring is okay. And manual thrust adjustment, barely okay. Well, let's get some more data. And then we have just the bare requirements there. So, I mean, I'm assuming this does really reduce it to zero, so we just have to do the thruster burn on the last turn, which sort of makes sense. I want comms. Ooh, ultraviolet imaging, not so good. Resist. Okay, signal attenuation is fine. Probably get that. And then swing a whole lot of comms. Eesh. Manual thrust adjust adjustment, not good. Boost transmission is okay. Two turns remaining. Well, let's get our... We need three of those. We need three spare nav. We've got three extra comms. So we can do this manual thruster adjustment. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Well, we might not get the bonus though this way. Shoot. We definitely need two of those. Yeah, there's no point trying to get the bonus here. Because if I do 15, that drops below what we need for the bonus. I'll get the 15 thrust. This, well, that's one thing that doesn't make any sense, having more thrust than you need, but... Okay, let's just go with it. Wow, bonus. Darn it! I could have skipped one and gotten the nav. Oh well. Now you give me all the good results. 17 thrust. Okay, we've got that. Mars preparation bonus. Phase one of Jupiter flyby. I guess it'll be a while before, yeah, 20 months before we have to do the next part. So, it's a long term mission, folks. Okay. And I guess it occupies a mission slot the whole time. So, that's a downside to doing the outer planet missions. Best uh, research complete. Wow, it, it moves very slowly out of here. <laughs> we have to do three. So we'll have to do the Mars Crew Rover eventually, and the Mars Surface Habitat, and either the Sample Retrieval or the Robotic Rover. Basically have to do all the things. I guess we'll do Space Station, because when you look at it, you have to, to get down here. Spacewalk Maneuvering Units. Alright, launch preparations. We need two crew, chest pilot, definite, um, one scientist, let's see, plus science, plus science. We can hire some more. Athlete. What? <laughs> That's a qualification? A celebrity, huh? Plus 10% support reward upon mission success. Mm, start each task with plus one power for the electrician. Yeah, I'll get the sa uh, celebrity, darn it. Let's get the celebrity. Let's toss the celebrity on. I want launch reliability training. And let's try August. Okay. Let's see if this celebrity mission works. Adequate conditions. Let's go. Sorry, I accidentally clicked, which skips the countdown. Okay, it was a good launch. Neutral launch. We got 
improvements to our Moo boosters. Okay, achieving Earth Orbit. So we got the drift thing again. Let's see, one power, some drift over to the left gives us a bunch of stuff. And then we can make yeah, use more power to get some drift to the right, and that'll keep it balanced. Just one drift to the right though. Okay, and then we could get that. Alright, let's try that. Okay, that's fine, except that's okay too. And that's okay. Alright, all good so far. We have almost enough comms just there, but we only have two turns remaining, so that's why it's challenging. Let's focus here. I want more comms. Let's have both of them get comms. And then we use one comm and one power for that. And really nail the resolution of this. Okay, manual data collection is fine. And we will resist that. Okay. And we'll have to resist that too. Well, they said it was challenging. Last turn, and I don't think we can go for the bonus reward, but it's only 15% anyway, so... Well, we might as well drift back to zero, at least. Alright, that'll still be completion. We'll be at zero. It'll make me feel better. Okay, all good. Okay, but we have to conduct the mission EVAs now. Alright. Three turns again. This is pretty challenging. Alright, we'll get a bunch of comms. Oh, falling outside the parameters will only fail the mission when no turns remain. So we can we can throw it out of whack for now. Oop. Resist. Okay, we need lots more data though. Uh, we can use two signal, three drift to the other way to get five data. Good. And then we can use a person and electrocute them, no, um, some electricity, and get all that stuff. All very good. Seems like a very competent uh, celebrity we've got on board. Well, if we do this... And then do this twice, we'll get the requirements there and not drift. Okay. Ah, uh, but it has to actually work. Okay, that one worked. Uh, okay. Alright. Performed controlled re-entry. And this time they got the heat gauge. We have to make sure to spend some heat. So getting some data would be good. Then we can spend that heat. And then we can get that. But I guess uh, this will... Heat within operational bounds to avoid payload failure. Task will end at the end of the turn if the above conditions are not met. Uh, keep it below 3. They could randomly go above 4, so that's rough. We need to make sure to spend extra heat. Let me undo this. Okay. So we definitely need to do that, I feel. But uh, then we're not going to be able to complete the task if we keep spending stuff like that. Hmm. Maybe we need to take a risk. Let's say we get that and spend that, but we try and get the comms. Let's try and do this one. Okay. 
Okay, well that was very successful. Okay, a little video of them punching buttons. Okay, all that was good, but how much extra heat is it going to give us? It went to four! Wait, it's not ending the task. Okay, so it's still okay even though it's four. I guess that occurred after... something. Okay, fine. I'll bring it down to zero as a priority, and then get some extra comms with power. Uh, actually, we don't need to do it like that. Um, we can use one person. Ah, we need to resist that. And that is excellent. Really, this celebrity is doing pretty well. And we got two extra there. Eat. This is the last turn. I don't think we can get seven comms. Let's see. If we do two of these, we could get that. Uh, can we dissipate the heat? I guess so. Everything works out all right. But then, no, we'd have to... You know, we get two extra... Yeah. And that dissipates the heat. Get all the things. Oh, well, we can try it. Okay, looks good. Alright, successful with bonus. Alright, extra vehicular activity. And we got the bonus rewards. Got more Mars preparation experience. And they are recuperating. Well deserved rest. Okay, says Bakemono is complete in one month. How's our active mission? We have one slot available. Let's see, Earth missions, there's a lot of stuff. Commercial space imagery, that's a lot of funds and some Mars experience. Ionospheric measurements. Science is always good though, I mean, but money is good too. <laughs> Especially when placing buildings, so. EVA, this gets uh, some support. Launch escape system vehicle upgrade. Hmm. EVA repair exercise. That's more Mars experience than this gives. Uh, but I want money. All right, we'll we'll do that. Uh, that is expensive though. Uh, commercial space imagery sounds cheap. What kind of probes are gonna work for that missions? Can it like highlight what kind of probe will work? It's not. Okay, yeah, I think this will be quicker. Oh, no mission slots. Oh, because I already started planning that. View plan, abort. Okay, now, commercial space imagery. I'm just hoping that we can do it quickly. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little comsat thingy. It's not huge, huge. Okay. Next month. Well, sending another mission over to the moon, this time with the rover. Plus 100% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch windows. Well, let's not have any suboptimal launch windows. Uh, yeah. Mission training bonus, though. 70% launch reliability. Oh, we need three crew. Well, time to hire somebody else. Um... Electrician, scientist. We've got two scientists already, though. Are these uh, athletes are pretty cheap. <laughs> they they have a low salary, and they don't cost much to hire. Launch reliability, huh? I like launch reliability, though. Hire. Okay, now we have three. Uh, we should have a test pilot on, though. We gotta hire this one too. Okay. Good times. We will have that one assigned. We'll have a test pilot, athlete, and scientist. That sounds like the normal mix, right? 
Okay, confirm. Feel like we're missing something. No, anyway, launch reliability training. And launch date in October. Good thing they only need one month of training. Lucrative, yes. Lunar roving, very lucrative, apparently. <laughs> Not normally. Well, it seems like a good day. Well, that's a good day, alright. Continue. Up we go! Our super trusty Saturn 1B has actually messed up. <laughs> now we have minus one power. Okay, how many steps is this gonna be? Okay, five, five, and five. And drifting. Oh, let's get that. That drifts that way. This drifts the other way. Get a lot of comms like that. We can spend comms to do this. It only does minus one thrust, so that's okay. All right, let's try that. Mm, very good. Okay, well. Let's get some more signal. Do more control burn. And we need nav. So... Maybe we'll wobble this way. And that will need a resist. Okay, two turns remaining. We should get some more signal. Yeah, I think so. And we can certainly spend two to get the required nav and thrust. And if we can get some free nav somewhere, apparently not. Uh, so I'll get power. And next time we need to focus on nav. Some data would have been nice. We just didn't have enough power. Get two nav like that and three data. And two data can get three nav, so that gets those two. But then if I spend two to get thrust, it's no good. So that's not a good way to. Yeah, that's not a good way to get the bonus. We use one power like that, and that, and then do that. We have to hope that everything works out right because we won't have enough power to correct it, but then we will get the bonus. So let's try it. Okay, that part works. That part didn't. Alright. No bonus for us. Or maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no bonus for us. Okay. Mission failed? What? What did I miss? Oh no! Killed in action? What? I missed something. Oh no, what did I miss? Oh, the drift! Maybe. I Did I drift too much? I drifted too much. Oh my god, completely missed the drift. And I killed astronauts. No. Oh my god. What have I done? The public's gonna skewer me. Gosh. Uh, I think I need to take a break. I gotta take a break.
All right, I am back after a bit of a break, and I have decided that this is a great lesson in complacency, folks. This is uh, what it's all about. The game lulled me into a false sense of security with all those mini games. Uh, they were going so easy, and I was just a little bit careless, and bam, it all goes wrong. Well, there's a lesson for all of us. So now I have to deal with the the fallout from this, and I don't know how bad it's going to be right now. I'm supposing our support will decline, but well, let's find out. It'll be interesting, actually. I do not know how bad it will be because we haven't had really a lot of failures, so... And this is a crude failure, so it should be especially bad. I guess we should immediately plan something new. Um, moon micrometeorites, well... That's not... Uh, there was another Earth mission that seemed... valuable. Well... And we already have a plan there. Let's lay off of crude missions for a little while, and the Solar Observatory is publicized and everything, so that's nice. And it gives a lot of science, which we need. Traffic tracking, though. That's an ESSA mission. Advanced shock absorption. Reduce stress on the payload during launch. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of money, too. And Mars experience. I mean, it, this gives some Mars experience anyway. Uh, hold on, let's plan this one. I feel like that's better. So we have a balance between the money and the science. Okay, observational satellite. Fairly cheap. Hopefully it will be quick. Okay, next month. We need some results. Um... Most media is dominated with news of the lunar roving mission failure which claimed the lives of Hara... Uh, Nonoka, Sakamoto Yusaku, and Mira Suneko. Uh, several outspoken critics have claimed your agency could have done more to prevent the deaths. Well, this is true. Um, it doesn't tell me... Promise to build Hall of Fame. Well, I'll do that. I don't know which one is better. I, I, I should do both, really. I should praise the astronauts and build a Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame will have to be constructed within three years. Okay. So, alright. And how... What are we researching right now? Space Station. Well, that's almost done. Okay. EVA astronaut interviewed. Oh yes, our uh, astronaut, our celebrity astronaut, Mission Control was telling me to come back in, but I told them it was absolutely integral. I took more... Uh, some more photographs. I took them very slowly. Going... Well, oh, that's a very... Yeah, that's the normal thing. Uh, space station research complete. Haven't we done an EVA before? But I guess they always say that. Alright, so... Um, well, yeah, let's get the... Building we promised. Hall of Fame. Fine. It'll give us uh, more astronauts in the astronaut pool. Not the most important thing, but, you know. If it gives us public support, it's okay. Funding review. Um, a company specializing in life celebration services as opposed to your agency, requesting that your upcoming commercial space in imagery include a small additional payload comprising pet ashes. Pet ashes, not even human. If accepted, the company will pay $500,000 or credits or whatever. However, your advisors have warned there's a chance the public will react ne negatively to the deal. I really need public support right now, so I'll reject it. I'm rearranging for more money, um, hopefully. Okay, so we didn't get a, as big a hit to having three astronauts die as I might have thought. <laughs> I might have thought that that would have been worse. Okay, standard comsat, no effect. Okay, design vehicle. Well, Delta K will work and the Mu-5 will work. Delta K is more expensive, Mu-5 will take longer. I would like to... Do I want to pay a little bit more? I mean, the lower stage will be easier to build if we use the Delta K, so... Yeah, alright, we'll do it. No upgrade. We could have onboard cameras, apparently. Looks like we can SpaceX this thing. Um, 
has a special no support penalty for failing mission. Negate any potential support loss for failure. But we don't have any upgrade points available. I wonder how we get those upgrade points, huh? Nigeru... Does that mean like run away? Something like that? Flee? Interesting. Alright, well, uh, we'll build that, but I don't know if we have funds to build the other thing. Well, we've got a lot that going on here. Um, Alright, Solar Observatory, Contractor Effects. Well, we'll go as small as we can, I suppose. And we'll use the Moo Launcher. Seems good to me. Cheap, effective. Well, 64% effective. We can put onboard cameras on this. Huh. And it's $50,000 more, but it uh, doesn't take more time. Interesting. So that does allow it. But I'll leave them off for now. I don't think it's going to be... Maybe. Yeah, let's put them on. Shoot. I don't know if that'll give us a new camera while it launches or something. Maybe. That'd be nice. Okay. Unrevealed trait. I think we should build the payload for the space station. We'll work on Skylab. The best way to get PR is to launch missions. Engineer available. An experienced propulsion system engineer has become available. Hiring them for your agency would boost the launch reliability for the solar observatory mission. Uh, we've only got 64%. Yeah, let's hire them. Okay, Solar Observatory on the Mu-3 launch preparations. Science mission training bonus increased by 100%. I guess we should do that, but... The payload reliability, though. It's only 65% right now. I always like launch reliability, but... Well, if the science mission training bonus is increased by 100%, we should just do that. And we'll launch there. Alright, next month. Alright, this time, pay attention! <laughs> pay attention. Now, bad conditions. Let's, let's reschedule the launch. Alright, let's try again. Seems like a good day. Yep, good conditions. Continue. And it is going. Okay, it's going up. Do we get bonus views? Well, apparently the onboard cameras is for the public, but not for us. All right, fine, be that way. Might have expected so. Okay, yes. Focus. Focus. It shouldn't be too- well, it's got a drift thingy though. It's got a drift thingy. Hmm. Okay, last time I was too ambitious trying to get the bonus reward or whatever and didn't even pay attention. Okay, so we don't need a whole lot. Let's... Get some comms first. Always a good thing. We can drift a little this way. It seems like the only way to cancel that drift is this one, though. So it's sort of a catch there. Well, we'll try that. Okay, that's very successful. That is successful. And that is going to need a resist. We can spin one each and get some more of that. Got a few turns remaining. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Ah, fail. Okay, we got the minimum requirement there. Well, we'll need power. We want that. I don't want to drift anymore, so we'll just leave it. 
I don't think we can do the bonus if I want to stay safe, and I just want to stay safe today. We'll just do that much. Alright. Earth orbit complete. And that's that. Alright. Could have sworn we were going to get more for that, but... Alright, we've got a mission slot available. Let's see. Demanding. Fourth level of mission difficulty. Serious challenge. So it involves special resources. Well, we sort of have had that. But increasing payload reliability. But we would have to add that. But then again, we added cameras, so... Challenge. Complete space station before China. Huh. Challenge will expire in 12 months. When did that pop up? There's a reward there. Didn't even notice that before. Shoot. How are we gonna expedite that? I don't even know. I don't think we can. I didn't even notice that until now. Well... Anything over at the moon? Well, micrometeorites. I guess we'll plan this one. Okay. Maybe it'll speed up our research of Skylab. Design a vehicle. Please let it be small. Able. We can launch it on Able. Okay. No upgrade points there. Got one point, but we can't do anything with it. Well, it's small. So it's got that going for it. Soviet Union failed commercial satellite. Nice to see them failing something. Okay, next month. Okay, Jupiter flyby. Wow, have 20 months really gone by that fast? Anyway, it looks like we're on commercial space imagery instead. We can only do that launch reliability training. We'll wait until February. And Jupiter flyby. Phase ready. Okay, well, let's be careful. Continuing mission for Jupiter flyby. There's a Voyager. There's Jupiter. Redder than usual. Okay. Initiate data collection. There's a radiation special thing, Majiggy. Radiation will be generated at the start of the next turn. Hmm. Well, let's first collect data and use a little bit of data and power to do nav. And then. Minus 5% payload reliability at end of turn with the radiation. Each one. Okay, well, we'll use some of that radiation. It's great to use radiation. Um, use some radiation like this. Let's generate all sorts of comms with radiation. Okay, visual spectrum sampling is good. Orbital plane adjustment is good. And data compression is good. Uh, we oh we've got two extra now now we've got three radiation threat um well let's go ahead uh, we need to get a whole bunch of nav and then we can do those but then we can't regenerate power but I really want to get rid of the radiation yeah let's try it okay orbital plane adjustment is fine Data compression is not. We have to accept that. Packet transfer is fine. Okay. Ouch. Okay, lots more radiation. So we've got enough comms, but all the radiation things... All the radi radiation mitigating things end up giving us comms, which we don't need. So we're gonna have to spend some comms like that. 
Well, we've got some extra turns remaining, so we'll just spend all the comms and make sure that we got everything. Okay, let's try that. Okay, sensor alignment is good. I'm accepting the radiation here. We've got negative 25%, but maybe we can last, I don't know. Okay, we'll spend some to get that. Well, those are the ones we need. Sort of. Yeah, I'll reduce the radiation somewhat, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll take a risk on that. Alright. Okay, that's good. That is a pretty big bad territory there. So far we're avoiding it though. And we will mitigate that with some power. Okay. So, we've got some more radiation. So all we really need is the navigation. And we can spend two data points to get it. And that'll give us the bonus. And as long as we got power, we can resist. Let's resist extra just in case. Well, and it might be clear. All right. We survived the radiation. Okay. Lots of mission rewards. Much approval. I'm I'm a little bit sad for the astronauts that the approval didn't like plunge when they died. So uh, a little bit feel a little bit bad about that. Space welding. Well, shoot, that's interesting anyway. And two percent Mars experience for that. It's going to be expensive, but we'll do it. Gemini? Well, if we can use a Gemini, we'll use a Gemini. And... Next month? Volcanoes on Io. Your Jupiter flyby mission has made a spectacular discovery. Dis observing nine volcanoes erupt on the moon Io at the same time. Uh, plumes from the eruption. It's actually trying to move Io. It's actually some aliens trying to move the moon. Anyway, the first active volcanoes witnessed on another body in the solar system reached more than 300 kilometers above the moon's surface. Okie dokie. Whatever they like. Skylab research is complete. But there's no way we're going to build it quickly enough. Moon micrometeorites. Okay. Uncrewed mission. Um, hold on. How, how reliable is it? We want more re launch reliability. Okay. Alright, let's set for that date. Confirm. Research. Well, now... Reducing vehicle build costs is probably important. Let's try this mobile launch platform. It'll give us Mars expertise too. Okay, base, build, Hall of Fame. Uh, it's gonna be expensive to have to bulldoze things. It's a big Hall of Fame too. Put it next to the pad, right? Why not? Oh, well, that's a million. That's 500,000. We're probably not going to move the pad. That would be expensive. Let's put it in that corner there. This doesn't get any bonuses, but at least it's there, as promised. Okay, budget review. We're still increasing. Moon micrometeorites. Alright, let's launch. Excellent conditions. Continue. That is a positive mission. Flawless ascent. Much payload reliability. Okay, translunar injection. Well, this should be easy, right? We just got a whole lot of reliability. Looks like that's what we want right there. And we can do more. 
But we're pretty close to getting it done right there. Can resist that. What am I missing here? Because this seems really easy. Okay, good control burn. And task is complete. That was real easy. Achieve orbit. There is a drift thing. Okay, we'll try that combination. Antenna alignment. Magnetic field analysis. Telemetry transfer. Got plenty of turns. Oh, problems. Resist. And that's all good. Just need two more data. That should do the trick. Didn't even need to drift at all. Resist. Yep. Well, with that wonderful success, I think I'll wrap it up here. Uh, we uh, have a slot open. Uh, let me select a vehicle for the space welding quickly. Apparently Delta it is. We'll have to do some training. We'll absolutely have to do some training. Okay, we're building that. And we will continue to... Well, deal with the fall. I mean, uh, there hasn't been that much fallout from the loss of the of the astronauts. Deal with the guilt that I feel about not having any fallout <laughs> from the loss of the astronauts. We will continue to uh, seek to increase our Mars readiness in the next episode. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.